whole family's nuts. My mom just joined Facebook two months ago, so that's what I was, I've been dealing with for a while. She has no sense of sarcasm. She doesn't realize people put funny pictures on Facebook. She thinks they're, they're all real. Came home one day and the cat was passed out in a weird way, so put an empty beer can right next to it. Put that picture on Facebook. She was the first comment within seconds that just said, Mark, beer is very bad for cats. <laughs> And then she liked her own comment. I was like, listen, old lady, you are doing this wrong. And I'm gonna block you, I don't care. But God bless her, she's trying, she's got all the technology, you know, she's doing the iPhone, the iPad, she's Skyping with the grandkids, you know, mostly we look at her thumb, but. It's going, it's funny, it's funny sometimes to watch old people try to figure out technology, you know, you catch out of the corner of your eye, you know, some old lady trying to unlock her car, you know, with her cell phone. And one time I saw an old lady trying to get money out of a red box, you know, she was convinced it was an ATM. She just kept looking around going, I want money, why does it keep giving me movies? <laughs> it's priceless. But the best of all time, I was in Montana getting gas. I get out of my car and I hear all this commotion down the way and I look and there's an old man screaming at the gas pump like it was some kind of futuristic robot going, help me, I need gas in my car. I was like, what is happening? And then I hear the guy in the gas station, he's like, I said, come in here, in here, and I'll explain how to do it. And this guy's like, come in where? He picked up the nozzle, he was like, hello. <laughs> this phone smells like gas. <laughs> I stood back and enjoyed for a while, but then I realized it was time to help when he was to, trying to slide a check into the credit card swiper. I was like, sir, I can't go on the rest of my day knowing that you're still here screaming at this gas pump. Please let me help you, you know? The best part of the whole story is I come over you know, all magnanimous, like this young guy that's gonna help this old man. And it turns out he has a car from the 70s where the gas tank is hidden behind the back license plate. I don't know if you guys have seen this car before. A couple of people nodding their heads. Never seen it in my life. We're just wandering around the car together. Like, where is the gas tank? I'm pushing taillights and hubcaps. I actually said out loud at one point, is this a DeLorean? I, uh, I haven't seen one of those. I had to walk away. He's like, well, thanks a lot, idiot. I was like, what are you getting mad at me for? You're the guy who bought a car without a gas tank. I mean, how'd you get roped into that, old man? Sir, I got the car for you. It's called a Chevy One Tank. When it runs out of gas, leave it on the side of the road. We'll find it. We'll find it. Yeah, my, uh, my dad was like the total grumpy old man after he, he worked for Wells Fargo for 50 years and he retired. His favorite thing in retirement, returning things to stores. <laughs> I don't know why it brought him so much joy. He actually had a thing called the switcheroo. I don't know if you guys have ever pulled the switcheroo before, but it was legendary in our house. If something broke, we would not throw it away. My dad would find out what it is, go to the store, purchase the exact same product, bring it home, take the new one out, replace it with the broken one, immediately return it and get his money back. <laughs> I was like, Dad, that is horrible. He's like, I'm sticking it to the man. And I was like, I think you're just stealing. But he never got caught ever. He got so brazen, he tried to return a 10-year-old shower head. Legendary story. My mom's having some back stuff. He goes buys this new one, got all the massager settings on it. It's three times the size of the old shower head. He's taken down the old one, which I assume came with the house. It's all rusted and mildewed. He puts it in this plastic snap case that the new one came in. There's no packaging. You can just see it rattling around in there. I just assume he's throwing everything away when he's done installing it. He goes, all right, I gotta head back to the store. And I was like, pardon? He goes, you know what, just let me do my thing. And I was like, what, I, got, I gotta go with you on this one. I gotta, I gotta watch this go down, you know? So I hang back, he goes up to the return counter, he puts the shower head and the receipt. The guy looks at it and he looks at my dad and he looks at it. He goes, sir, I don't get it. This is obviously an old, rusted, mildewed shower head. And my dad, as confident as I've ever seen him, just makes eye contact and he goes, imagine my surprise when I got it home. <laughs> and he got the money, he got the money. I was like, what? 
took me out to lunch on that money. Hey folks, I just wanted to say thank you for watching my clips. You can watch my entire special for 99 cents, which I think is a good deal. You can watch more clips by clicking here. Yeah, I mean, click it. Why are you just staring at me? I'm a pretty weird looking dude. So I would click faster than wait. Just click it right now.